Today's video is a tutorial on how to download, install, and enable the Wicked Whims mod for Sims 4. If you are looking for a tutorial on how to download and install animations, I do have another video. I'll link it in the end and in the description. Also, just a warning, this video will, if you follow this tutorial, will lead you to some websites with graphic adult content. I will not show any of that graphic adult content, but just be warned. So to start, you'll want to search for Wicked Whims in your browser and make sure that you find this wickedwhimsmod.com link. You can click either on the main Wicked Whims page or directly to the download. However, we are going to use the Wicked Whims main page for animations in the other video, so I'll take you this route. So you're able to download from either this button or this button. And you'll be given the option to download from itch.io or Nexus. Nexus requires that you create an account. Itch.io does not, so I'll take you the itch.io way. I do want to warn you though that once you click this button, you will be redirected to a site that has graphic adult sexual content, so be warned once again. So in order to be able to show this part, I had to downsize my window a little bit so that there's no graphic content on screen. But you'll want to go ahead and scroll down to this download button right here, which will pop you down lower on this page to where you can actually download the file. Now, if you are in Chrome, your downloads will end up down here. If you're in Edge, they'll end up up here in the top right corner, but they are always available through your file explorer down here on the taskbar. Once you open your file explorer, you'll want to scroll down on the left-hand side until you see this PC, and under this PC, you'll see downloads. In your downloads file, you'll see this Wicked Whims mod that you downloaded just now, and it's a compressed zip file. We can't do anything with it the way it is now, so we'll want to click on it, then right click, and hit the Extract All button, which shows us this screen where it's extracting to the downloads, which is good. It'll pull up a folder right here that we can use. So this is the old folder, this is the new one that's been extracted. Wicked Whims, you'll see it doesn't have the zipper and it says file folder instead of compressed zipped. Now that we have this file folder that we can use, we need to move it to where it can be used. So click on the one that says file folder, not the compressed zip, and hit control C to copy it. Now we need to move this to our game files which are under Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, and we need to move it to this Mods folder. If you don't have a Mods folder, create one with this new folder button and name it Mods, and then go into that folder and hit Control V to paste this usable file folder into your Mods folder. So before we can actually use this, we have to double click to go into your folder and delete anything that isn't an actual mod file. So within this Wicked Whims mod folder, you'll see the script file and the package file. Those are both actually part of the mod. These three aren't actually part of the mod. They aren't package or script files. So we'll go ahead and highlight all of them and hit the delete button on our keyboard so that we're left with just this Wicked Whims mod folder. Then we'll click on the Wicked Whims mod folder, hit Control C on your keyboard to copy, go back into the mods folder, and hit Control V to paste. Now you'll see the original folder that we brought into our mods file that has all the extra stuff and then just the folder with the mod. We want to delete this original one that has all the extra stuff. So click on it and hit the delete button on your keyboard. So you're not done yet. You will have to launch your game and enable the mod within the game itself or else you won't be able to use it. 
If you are a first time mod user, before we even get to that point, we need to change a couple of settings so that you can use any mods at all. If however, this is not your first time using mods, go ahead and skip ahead about 20 seconds so I can show you how to enable the mod in the game. So first time mod users, go ahead and click options on the launch screen and go to game options. Find this other tab. Ensure that enable custom content in mods is clicked and script mods allowed is clicked. These both have to have green check marks in order for you to use mods at all. Once you click those, apply changes and it will prompt you to restart your game. So go ahead and do that. And then once you have, go ahead and start your game. So if you've used Wicked Whims in the past and you're confused as to why you don't see the Wicked option when you click on something, not a couch, not a bed, nothing, it's because now you have to essentially enable it in the game. So you'll want to click on a sim or select a sim and then click on them. And that's where you'll see this Wicked option. You'll click on Wicked and then you'll have to go to the settings enter the master settings, and then check this box that allows sex gameplay. And then exit out. And then you'll notice that when you click on things, you have a wicked option. Ta-da! If this isn't your first time using Wicked Whims and you already have your animations, you're good to go. If, however, it is your first time, you will need to download and install animations in order to get the full functionality out of this mod. If you follow the video in the bottom right, that'll take you to a full tutorial on how to do that. But that's it for this tutorial. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And please, please, please leave comments. I love those.